Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Subliminals The Complete Breakdown. Um, today I'm going to be tackling uh, video game consoles. And um, the reason why I'm doing consoles and not video games themselves is because there's enough videos out there about the games themselves. Um, so, and, and it would take me literally a lifetime just to break down the games. So I'm going to do, I'm going to attack, you know, attack it at its source right at the roots. Uh, so we'll start this one off with the PlayStation controller, uh, also known as the 6-axis wireless gamepad. And there's a couple things that I want you to notice here. 6-6, um, six, six, the pyramid with the capstone and I will have to do a review uh, but for now I'll go ahead and break down just the letter A. I need to break down all the sigils that they call our alphabet um, that we've been given since birth and that we are in this so we don't see it because we've been in it for so long but obviously this is the pyramid with the capstone and the what we would call the all-seeing eye. Um, and that's just the A. So I'll have to break down the alphabet in another video. Uh, we have the IX, the XI. We have Isis. And if you say this uh, at any type of speed, you will get 666. So 6 axis, 6 axis. Uh, it's basically, uh, and then of course we have these symbols on here, which is the triangle, the square, the circle, and the X which is used in every magic ritual there is and I will leave a link to this I'm not going to break down everything um, of course it comes back to Isis which I just showed you was actually in the name of Six Axis so it's a it's a pretty well thought out name it's not by accident alright the GameCube of course is the cube the cube is uh, another another sim symbolic picture for Saturn or Saturn worship. Of course, it's in the G, which is the Masonic square and compass G, and the six. They love their cubes. Nintendo is a huge fan of the cube. There's the Nintendo 64 logo. Sega Saturn, they didn't even try to hide it. There's no breakdown required here. The Seal of Solomon. Um, let's go to. I clicked on the signet ring here, and this is where they get their X, which is also the pyramid looking from the sky. So if you were the creator and you were looking down, you would see an X, not a triangle and not a pyramid. Um, but that is the representation of the pyramid which is also the triangle which is also inside of a square and the circle comes into play with things like the pentagram uh, how they have the upside down pentagram within the circle the X box um, even if you don't believe in anything I'm saying right now you can clearly see they have a fetish with the cube and the X and the box and the square the monolith that is the PlayStation 2 there's another picture of the Xbox. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Saturn Round Eye. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. I just recently discovered his channel after somebody had left a comment to me about Saturn Round Eye, and I, I never even looked for his channel, but after I did, it was very eye opening, and I think his videos are very well presented. So. If you need any further elaboration on the Gate of Abaddon, the IXXI, the 9-11, the Square and Compass, the Gate of Abaddon, Apollyon, uh, he breaks that down uh, in, in a very eye-opening way. Um, Vita, the word Vita comes from Latin for life and Italian. If you go to Google Translate, the Italian word Vita translates to life. And what they're basically saying is, is that your life is being consumed inside of these consoles. 
Um, and another proof for that would be the Dreamcast, because the word cast comes from to get rid of or to throw away, to throw, to cast. So your dreams are being casted. Uh, and of course this symbol can be found everywhere on the planet in all types of ancient rocks. Uh, the spiral, it has basically whatever meaning you want to give it. Could be the circle of life, could be the snake eating its own tail, it could be a six, it could be uh, interdimensional portal, whatever you want it to be. I want to go back here to the uh, Xbox logo just for a moment so that you could see something here. Um, this B kind of comes up into this space and if you turn your head to the left I think you can see what it's trying to represent. Uh, I think I'm going to end this video here. I think it's uh, enough to pretty much give you at least something to look at and think about. Thanks for listening guys. Take care.